guys got nothing else to talk about. I'm sorry, Phil, but if you investigate the evidence the way you hit on curls, criminals can rest easy. Screw you, Steve. Don't be offended, Phil. We're just kidding. Steve, stop the car. I have to take a leak. Come on, Mike. We're almost there. There won't be a chance for that, and I can't stand it anymore. Okay. What the hell? Hey man, are you okay? Sorry, I have very little time. Everything will be fine. Our plan worked. What are you talking about, man? I don't understand you. Hey, wait! Shit! Why is it taking so long? Hey Steve, there's a very strange guy in a cemetery. He's very scared. Are you sure? Hell yes. He said some nonsense and ran away. It was very strange, Steve. Okay, let's go check. Seriously? Ah, to hell with him then. We gotta go. Don't be stubborn, Phil. Maybe that guy needs help. It's our duty. Let's go check. Okay guys, let's split up and look for him, and I'll try and track him down. Okay guys, he ran away. Let's go back. Steve, come here. You gotta take a look. What have you got here? I saw that guy run out of here. There's a way down. That guy was bleeding. He was obviously running away from something. Maybe there's some kind of sect or something like that. I don't know, Mike, but I think we should go down and check it out. They're expecting us at the crime scene. Am I the only one who cares about this? At the crime scene, Phil, the crime has already been committed. There is no hurry, but here it may not be too late to prevent it. I agree with Steve. I agree, too. Three against one, Phil. Okay, okay. All right, let's go.
Look, I just want to tell you right off. I'm just a forensic scientist. And if some mess starts, then I'm not going to participate Don't in it. Don't worry, Phil. We'll figure it out. There's a passageway here. Holy shit! What is this place? We'll soon find out. Sir, we are from the police. Turn around so I can see your hands. Sir, I will not repeat twice. Johnny, don't go near him. Johnny, no! Are you okay? Officers, you were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Who are you, and what is this place? For two weeks we punched that hole in the wall, sending two people in every day, and we didn't make too much noise. But because of your gunshots, all these critters are going to be there. And now we can't go through there. Our plan failed because of you, damn it! What's going on here? What is that critter? We made a deal with the prisoners. We kept them awake for fifteen days. In return, they could get freedom. We don't have time for this. You have to hurry. These things are going to be here any minute. Go and get help. This is our last chance. Be quick. In the cemetery, we saw a man come out of here. Is he one of you? Now I know how you got here. It's Brian. He's infected. And all he wanted to do was see his wife before he lost his mind. So he left early. He doesn't know our plan has failed, and he thinks we're all going to get out of here. Now go away! Now! All right, guys, let's get out of here. They kept the prisoners awake for 15 days, huh? I've heard of something like this before. I think in 1940, Soviet scientists kept five prisoners awake using stimulant gas. I don't know, Phil, but the FBI will come here and figure it out. Yes, be on the alert.
look, I just want to tell you right off, I'm just a forensic scientist. And if some mess starts, then I'm not going to participate Don't in it. Don't worry, Phil. We'll figure it out. There's a passageway here. Holy shit! What is this place? We'll soon find out. Sir, we are from the police. Turn around so I can see your hands. Sir, I will not repeat twice. Johnny, don't go near him. Johnny, no! Are you okay? Officers, you were in the wrong place at the wrong time. Who are you? What is this place? For two weeks we punched that hole in the wall, sending two people in every day. And we didn't make too much noise. But because of your gunshots, all these critters are gonna be there. And now we can't go through there. Our plan failed because of you, damn it! What's going on here? What is that critter? We made a deal with the prisoners. We kept them awake for 15 days. In return, they could get freedom. We don't have time for this. You have to hurry. These things are going to be here any minute. Go and get help. This is our last chance. Be quick. In the cemetery, we saw a man come out of here. Is he one of you? Now I know how you got here. It's Brian. He's infected. And all he wanted to do was see his wife before he lost his mind. So he left early. He doesn't know our plan has failed and he thinks we're all going to get out of here. Now go away. Now. All right, guys, let's get out of here. They kept the prisoners awake for 15 days, huh? I've heard of something like this before. I think in 1940, Soviet scientists kept five prisoners awake using stimulant gas. I don't know, Phil, but the FBI will come here and figure it out. Yes, be on the alert.
911, I'm listening to you. Sir, my husband, he came home yesterday from a business trip. He was very scared and was bleeding. Where is your husband now, ma'am? I hid from him. You hid from him? Is he threatening you, ma'am? When he came home, he hugged me and gave me a gun, said that he would soon become a monster and I would have to kill him when it happens. But I couldn't do it. He attacked me and he beat me. I I feel really bad, sir. Where are you located? 112 Main Street. Stay where you are. I'll send help. That's not all, sir. I I heard about the missing policeman. Before my husband went crazy, he left a message for the police. I read it. Maybe it will help find them. Something terrible happened, sir. Ma'am, don't take any action. I'm sending help. Do you understand? Ma'am? Ma'am, can you hear me? Ma'am, don't take any action. I'm sending help. Do you understand? Ma'am? Ma'am, can you hear me? Shit, I hope this is not another prank of school children. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Freddy. Listen, I got a very strange call from a woman. She says that her husband has turned into a monster, and he left a message that can help find our guys. Sounds like crazy, but could you go and check? Yes, but... Why are you calling me directly? You have to send the police there officially. Yeah, I know. It's just that everyone at work still laughs at me after I've been pranked by school children. I'm afraid this is the same case, and you're the only cop I'm friends with. Okay. What the address? 112 Main Street. If there really is something there, call me. And also, thank you, Rachel. Don't thank me. It's my job. Open the door. Open the door. I want to help you. Well, I have to get inside somehow.
Ma'am, I'm from the police. I want to help you. Ma'am, I'm from the police. I want to help you. What's getting into these people? You had no choice, Rachel. You had no choice. Freddy, I killed these people. What? They attacked me. I had to defend myself. This is not a prank, Freddy. These people were like possessed. Tim, are you okay? No, Fred. I'm sorry, Rachel. It's my fault. I, I read this man's letters. His name is Brian. He saw the police in the old cemetery where the car was found in. One of the tombs that there is an entrance to the underground complex. Maybe... Maybe our guys are there. The search team is there now. I'll tell them. This information may help us. Well done, Rachel. Fred, this is not all. The letter says that it can be very dangerous there now. He left the coordinates of another entrance to the complex. It will be safer to enter from there. Come on. These guys are armed to the teeth. Okay. I'll go there myself. Rachel, no. You've had enough for today. Go home. No, Fred. I want to help. Steve, my friend, he would have done the same thing. 
I'll go over there. Okay, Rachel. Just be careful. left of their footprints we need to bring the dogs all right everybody we got new information check all the tombs in the cemetery one of them has an entrance to some complex maybe our guys are there let's go <laughs> <laughs> 